I, am I back? Huh? Give just a minute for everybody to try to come back into the group. Because they're going to have to come back in. Oh, we start a new one? Yeah, we'll have to start a new video. So then we delete that one later, right? No, we'll com probably combine them. So you're live. Hello. Okay, let's start over again. We did have some technical difficulty earlier. And so today's topic is on the Oncidium alliances for the winter time. And I'm actually, uh, not many people know. How many of you have shared a baby? <laughs> How many have a girl shared a baby? Uh, I was very fortunate uh, back in 1984, I was uh, a student in Hawaii. And I personally saw the first original Sherry Baby at Hilo, Hawaii. Okay, it was really impressive. Unlike what some of the mass-produced Sherry Baby we have today, is uh, off color. Uh, my recreation at the time, the, real, the original Sherry Baby was bright cherry red, contrasting with red lip. And so I always do a lot. So I always like Oncidium alliances in addition to fan analysis and carrier. And then back in 1980, 1996, when my nurse was invited to go to the, to the full out the show and then at the, the Miami International Show. So I was, uh, I was actually the first nursery and first person to introduce uh, Wildcat. The, um, the now very famous Oncidium Alliances uh, Wildcat into Florida. And at that time, I had to really convince the customer and people to give Wildcat a try. And my first reaction at the time was, that's not gonna grow here. And I said, why? Because the, the conception at that time is people are used to a fan analysis, Catalina, uh, Benda, Benda, they never see anything like that before. So, and because I'm from California, and he said, oh, you're from California, you're from the left coast, so you're not gonna do well here, blah, 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 you know, if you're up, you know. That, that's kind of misleading because Wildcat, for example, had the um, Oncidium or the Miltonia, Milton, uh, which is very similar to this, was the Wurzii, which is a species from Brazil, the warm growing Brazil. And they also have the Oncidium called Leucochylum, which is from Mexico. And it takes 100 degrees, almost like they drove in King Adam, and can go down to almost freezing temperature. So it actually has four major species that lump together. It's what we call the intergenetic. So this is why uh, there's always exception in life, or in this case, in orchid too. But this is why, you know, I'm pride myself to be an orchid uh, professional because I'm not just know how to grow them because I will also need to know the breeding background to know if this is gonna work or not. And so this is, for example, it's a Miltonia, but it's also called Miltonopsis, okay? This is what we call the uh, Columbia. The species behind it is originally from uh, Colombia. So this is the, what we call the cooler intermediate to cool grower. But they actually quite easy to grow. Most people did not know or how to repotting them at the run time of the year. On the Miltonopsis, which is uh, back to back in popularity again, because there are some newer hybrid. Uh, a lot of the breeders that my, my friend at uh, Golden Gate or uh, Tom Perity in San Francisco, They've been doing a lot of breeding and also uh, a lot of breeding been done in Maui, uh, Ben uh, Komoda, also in Maui, okay, uh, for, uh, Hawaii. They've been breeding and selecting more heat tolerance, okay. So if you go under light, you are set because all Milton officers do not like is the temperature above 85 degrees. So in Florida, for example, whether it's Gainesville or South Florida, you can go the Miltonopsis even outdoor six months out of the year, as long as you keep it away from the rain, put it under the gutter, okay? But in the summertime, when you have the sticky, hot, humid, you can actually go to indoor as a house plant. But a lot of my customers try that at Fort Lauderdale, for example, 
Now they just grow the Miltonopsis indoor year round as a house plant because uh, your, uh, your house is also have AC air condition year round to keep you comfortable in Florida. Uh, for myself, uh, Miltonopsis, this time of the year, I can move it outdoor because they, they, they really enjoy that day and night temperature and the night temperature drop below 60 degrees. They love that. And so Metronauts is coming to season again. Uh, they, and this is some of all the, the off season blooming. Okay. So they're coming in all kind of uh, sizes. And the best part is, Jeff, how's the fragrance? Right. Yeah, uh, Metronopsis, I would just go for the fragrance alone. Okay, so this is... On the Metronopsis, for example, there's a two key rule to follow. You always want the generically, they have the flower sheet here, okay? they tend to collect water here. So they, they tend to have lots of rotting problem. So the, the number one rule for the metronopsis is to water early and make sure the water here between the sh frost sheet and the suitable dry and not collecting water overnight. Okay, if they, okay. Then they can easily go in the moss or the bark mix, okay? And see here, this is a new growth. We, we repot this, uh, I think about four months ago. And the suitable have matured. And that's how they, when the suitable mature, they give you the flowers spike coming up. And they always fall from the new growth. So this, once the metonia after it get going, uh, this in about four months, you're gonna have another spike coming up, all right? So, and this is actually grow under uh, in the in the greenhouse next to the our uh, path. So if you go, if you are at Pacific Northeast or Northwest, you set the Metronopsis, it's perfect for you uh, without trying. But if you are in the Arizona, South Florida, same point, just go there as a house as an indoor house plant, okay, or under light, okay. Then I mentioned earlier. This is the, sh the Sherry Baby, okay? Now Sherry Baby has a lot of charm. I know it's an old one, but, it, but I wanna show you, this, uh, this is a very clean Sherry Baby, okay? Uh, tr throughout the year, uh, we test uh, Cementonia, uh, and DC even test some of this. There's a new selection, and it's a, a clean of virus, a CMV and TMV, and they're so clean. They do not have any spot on the leaf. So a lot of time, if you are sharing with baby, for example, uh, I use, sherry baby is in particular uh, when it's really hot, right? I don't like my staff doing this. Love the nice thing about Sherry Baby. This is what I call the optimum growth. If you grow it, culture is, is, is good. You should get two spike per suitable. Okay, so a lot of times Sherry Baby uh, can be too tall to ship. Okay, and you can actually Break the tips, okay. We did that at uh, many culture talk before, reduce the upper dominant. So that will branching up. And this one, reduce the tips. So uh, we actually did that one year. It's a lot, it's very labor intense, but we actually did it one year for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day. And we do it as a topiary. Okay, so once I reduce, I, now you become a, a Two spike. Okay, when you have two spike, put it up. You can even do a heart shape if you like. See? So now you can start grooming print for Valentine's Day. Okay, so 
the unstable shear base is very, very flexible. And this is the one we did earlier. And this one only have one spike. So if it has just one spike, I just, you can just do a loop, okay? We also tip, do the tip earlier, reduce the uppercut dominant. So you notice that you're gonna have a, a lot of branches coming out, okay? So if you have a lot of, if you're a shaping bit home, sometimes it's, it, when it's like foiled up, for example, really hot, they tend to be really stretched, but doesn't give you a lot of side branches, okay? This is a tip you can do, just turn it off, and do the branches. And this is actually easier to for me, for us to ship. Because, you know, now FedEx is doing by dimensional weight. You know, you have tall boxes, lightweight, they're still gonna charge you the maximum, the box weight. So, um, one thing about Sherry Baby, or any other unsealed al alliances, okay? They do beautifully in the mask, okay? I like the mask. Look at this is the mask, Me media, okay? And this is also they like a lot of water during the growing season. So by the end of the growing season, like read this, you we don't water as much, and we hold the water back until this the the new growth coming up. All right. So smaller the part, anything about the mass, less is more with the mass. So. By, by, and the such an unseen alliance, they like to be rupang. Have a rupang is actually encourage the plant to be more content and also more flowering. If you too big of a pot, you know, I've seen people would take this and because that's what we do on our website, we don't sell it by the pot size. We do it by, by maturity because this is actually can sell as a six inch pot, but it's not good for orchid because what the orchid first thing going to do is try to fill out the mass with more root. So their priority is trying to do the root growth versus what's about the, the, the party medium, okay? So this is a, a little trick you can do with your oncidium. And... Linda was asking, how do you keep the leaves from getting spotted on this type of... Linda, this, uh, this is the new crown of the oncidium. Uh, this is why I say back in 1984, when I was in Hawaii, and I saw the first original share baby, the leaf doesn't have a spot. But a lot of time, the so, and this is why uh, we went through a lot of trouble. And generically, they will have spot, okay? It's from the heat. That's from the Oncidium leucochylum. So now with the newer Oncidium, we actually, this been tested, it's free of TMC. Some of, of the time, a lot of time the, the the, the spot can be induced by the by the stress, okay? So uh, if you have an Oncidium, the older one version, that doesn't really do well, you might, and it doesn't flower well, you might want to you know, consider just, you know, throw it on the tree, mount it on the tree, and get the newer version of the Sherry Baby now. They are, the new version of the Sherry Baby, you see here, are so vigorous. And genetically, the leaves are free of spot. Okay, so a lot of time, uh, also keep the shade baby to less spot. You're trying to reduce the light in the summertime. Okay, all right, so and uh, increase the air movement. And now there's a new hybrid now. And don't worry, we'll, we will give you the number later. Uh, Oncidium A-Cap Baby, Raspberry Chakra. This is actually the hybrid from the share baby. But you notice that it had the same smell as share baby, but generically they're gonna be shorter and it go it go like this, almost like a tree. So this is the one that later on we're gonna offer this one in the show and tell. But so there's lots of new hybrid now with, with the share baby that hopefully will give uh, give you don't give give you that, that kind of stress on the spot. Okay? So basically on sitting by this time of the year, uh, they just finished their vegetative growth. The suitable should be mature. You need to stop, hold back the water, but still do your fertilizer. If you use normal orchid fertilizer, that's a year-round purpose, okay? Uh, if you are uh, in the area is really cold, the moss stay wet, go ahead and do the foliar feeding, okay? The, lead, uh, the My fertilizer can pick it up 
and I give it the shining foliage. Okay. How are we doing? So are we doing okay? Good. So unsealing lines is, is a fine one to try. Uh, you should give it a, a look again. Uh, I'm going to show you this one here. This is actually has is a new intergenetic and have the Miltonia, the pansy one in the background. But I want to turn around here. Genetically, you see here, can we focus on the suitable, the, the spot? That is a spot. They do have this spot genetically. Okay, it's just that some, some of us were naturally gonna have freckle, okay, when you expose the sun. So do not al alarm. Uh, what I usually do is, so this is the uh, Oncidium intergenetic. Okay, uh, so if you have any on the metonopsis in the background, but in this case, uh, what are you make sure this is the time the housekeeping and this I would just remove it because this is so old, this is all protected for skin. Uh, just remove it because they're going to contain water. And this is the time, the fall is a good time because the suitable have mature and they're spiking. Okay. You can actually remove this. Okay. So this is about, this is the reddish color. You do the same thing. You, I, this is the time in the year, especially for this outdoor. This one, I can grow this outdoor. Uh, it's proven. I can grow this outdoor. Uh, I put all this because we're going to put this in our intermediate house and uh, only about 50 degrees. And they can go as low as 45. We don't put heater here and they love it. Uh, this is the time, but want to make sure you clean up all the third uh, older leaf okay uh, this is the one that can go out can take the cold temperature all right and a lot of the time people will ask sometimes they're all suitable had wrinkle that is okay you know we all get wrinkle when we get older but as long as the new growth uh, is prompt you're okay but if a new growth the new ball, the new suitable is not prompt and wrinkle. There's something wrong with the root system. I will just cut off the spike. Don't let them, don't let them flower and just repot them when next when you have a new uh, shoot. What's the daytime jumps on those? Uh, they usually about below 40, before 85 and above mi uh, minimum is 55. They can go lower, but 60 is fine. Yeah, this is what we call the intergenetic that actually can take the core and, and hot. They can, the, the, the core is from the um, Columbia Miltonia, Miltonopsis. Okay. All right. How are we doing on time? Huh? Okay. Brian. Okay. I'm going to show you. Okay. Uh, if you, on the topic of the wildcat, at the Oncidium minimum is going to give you one spike per ball. Okay. But what you need to watch out is for this. When the suitable mature, they all are going to give you a, a long hair, long pair, and a short pair. Okay, so once they and they can go either way, uh, depend on the ge genus. Uh, they can be from this side or this side, or they can have two spikes at the same time. So this is why at this time of year, you want to make sure the water doesn't stay inside here. Okay, and this is why uh, if you go in Florida, for example, if you have open uh, shake curtain, when the spiking like this, I usually put it away from the open rain or open water. Even if you have sprinkler head in your greenhouse, 
move it away from it. Uh, so that way I, you can uh, start spiking. Okay, so the tip of the week is, okay, Brian, what's the tip of the week? Peel off the sheath. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna say the other word. Oh, it's foreskin. <laughs> Okay, there's a little trick, and uh, this is very true with the uh, wildcat. Okay, and and I, my company, I have the more wildcat awarded than anybody else. Okay, uh, this is true. I would, you can do that with Shea Baby. Okay, you know this here. This is the same chrome. Okay, and see the difference. Which one we prefer? The presentation, the flower spike. You like this one better or this one kind of bunched together? Okay. Uh, for for Josh's view, uh, this is going to give you this. So the what we did is okay. But I'm going to do a demonstration. Okay, and you you can do that with Shea Baby or pretty much all the Ancelium alliances. So Brian, can you do that? Uh, you do that, and I'm going to start. With, Oh, I don't, I don't think I need to use No, that. no, no. Or do you want me to? Yeah. Okay. The easiest way because by spray the whip, spray the foreskin. Okay, make it soft. Out of it, out of spike. Okay. Uh, that will actually soften it because last time I, I break couple, I break one's branches here. Okay. So once it's soft, okay, this is the, the foreskin that actually will protect the very young flower branches, the flower uh, admires them. So it's good to release it because that you don't want the water to stay inside. I just cut my nails. Okay. The, the easiest way when I rip it is just from the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah. The lady, if you have a nail, it's easier. See? You break it. You go, yeah. go up all the way. Go up. So what happened is, this is what we did last week. Okay. Ben was here. So once you break that, the, the foreskin, now you see how nicely it's clean. The water is not going to stay there, so you're not going to have any more. And this is just not last week. Yeah. Only seven days. Then the gravity, this is going to be go lower like this. Okay. And it should peel right off. Yeah, this is why I, we did it this. If you're not enough, put more water here, okay? Remember, you can do that with Shea Baby. Any of the Oncidian alliances, they all have that sheet there. And you should also make sure you hold on to the spike near it so you don't snap off the spike. Yeah. So I just pull it right off. Yeah. And another trip that I did earlier, uh, Brian, yeah. is, you oh, see yeah. here? In, is the part, remember the apical dominant? In order to, in, or get really nice reduce uh, this is not for AOA charging but for a little trip that we do for this is there's gonna be cost between the blue ribbon and red ribbon okay I just snap the tip okay that way we reduce the apical dominant okay this is okay physiology or plain physiology this but it okay now all the energy is they're not gonna push more all the energy is going to go down here and push this aside okay preferably it will be do it even earlier so if you want to dispel them okay i will do it now before they before you see any branches i will do a tip okay then this is going to really push they will give you instead of four flower on av branches you may got six per branches, so become longer because, uh, uh, okay? So you do this, remember, do it later. You don't want to peel off the skin right now because it's too early. You want to do it when you start seeing this coming up, okay? So that's a little trick that we do. Make sure we have this for show and tell. So the difference is, if you don't do it, you see here, they bunch together. It's not going to be as pretty, okay? Versus this is what we did last week. Just seven days, less than seven days. 
you see how nice, nice branches so you can do that with your wildcat uh, or any of the uh, oncidium and that, that's how you achieve that what we call the, the Christmas tree look okay all right how you like this everybody gonna try it <laughs> okay so remember always uh, any of this skin wet them it's a lot easier to peel them off And you do that because a lot of time you might go into a okay, show and you know this will be a, a, a nice presentation will make a difference between the blue ribbon and the white ribbon okay so there's a little trick that you can do all right so this is the tip of the week on the oncidium so every time uh, we do the tip of the week uh, may not to be the, in the same topic we talk about but you know it just happened that I, I, I see something at the nursery uh, Brian, are we ready for the show and tell? Yeah. Ah, oh, make sure we got a lot of unsitting. Okay. Oh. Bring it up. Okay. I want to show you this one here. Okay. This is the model print of this one here. And then Linda Earl going to get one. And it's a primary between the Canadian Beringiana and a Lady of Mirai. And this is the, my crown is, uh, eventually we're gonna, it only got 78 when I presented. I'm surprised that they didn't give a culture. I'm worried uh, I was gonna enter for culture award. But uh, last year, it actually had more flower than this. So if you don't have a lot of space, this is the nice, uh, the flower can have up to 15 flower per spray and the spike is actually taller than the print itself okay if I go it under uh, this one I did not get to move it to the cooler greenhouse so it's actually in my warm carrier house so the warm day and warm night stretch the spike a little bit too tall for my taste uh, but this is the Look at the size of the print. It's beautiful. Okay, this is the first release, okay? And if you like miniature Carolia or primary, on the first bloom, you have four flowers back already. It's a very beautiful print. It's a Carolia Beringiana crossed with Lady Mary. And Lady Mary can take the heat and also the draw. Okay, so it will be perfect even in Texas or Florida, okay? Um, Arizona, okay? So this is a very, very, uh, uh, useful print here so, and this is the model print okay and this is uh, and we did the crown ourselves and, and I'm for many years people want to buy the print but you know finally wait until this is about three year out of frask and this is the first release so here you go okay beautiful okay next ah I love this one this one always the flower twice a year, and this is the one with the uh, Brazilian Miltonia, uh, Worcester Worcestershire. They call it, um, they used to call it Miltonia Worcester Worcestershire, but now it's Ancidium Worcester Worcestershire. Okay, uh, we're gonna put it here. Okay, we're gonna put something here. Okay, and you see the moss and. Miltonia was the worst yet generically they're gonna have this wrinkle effect and nothing wrong with the print. This is the way that uh, was the worst yet do that. Okay. And this is why sometimes if you are judges, you know, if I want to give a, a species test, if I show you something like this without the spike, and I will say name one species that have give you this kind of wrinkle effect, and you can actually save the put down what's the worst yet. Okay? And the nice part about this one here is it's compact. Uh, always multiple, the, there are two spikes right now and they have very really nice fragrance, all right? And my next one. Okay. Oh, this is the number for the, the clean sherry baby that I mentioned earlier. That j this is the remarriage stem. Uh, we've gone through the, uh, a lot of print 
and mesh and we weed out some of the better one and gene so this is a clean share baby uh free of tmv and cmv virus for sure and it's just so vigorous okay beautiful suitable you can use a suitable as a weapon <laughs> Okay, so this is the, the one that you can, uh, we actually have uh, in, in, in spec stage. So you can you can take it home and do your own topiary or branching, okay? Next, carry it. All right. They give you this uh, fragrant carrier. Uh, oh yeah, this is from Dulce Orchid, Dulce Western Green. This is half Brasovara Dipiana, okay? You, you can tell the, the influence from, from Dipiana really compact plant a good bloomer a flower on every new shoot so you can tell is a, a, a carrot is a good bloomer every grow have flower okay so this is a proven one uh, a, a nice plant done by uh do so okay a Thai, my friend in taiwan all right oh yes this is the native species of taiwan and where I was born. It's, look how pretty. And you can grow this with fan analysis, okay? I only have about 10. So if you like, uh, this is a Merocron. This is a division of a Cron for Formosa. And they grow under light, uh, the proper Grossa, Formosa. Okay. Go, on, go for under light and with the fan analysis, okay? Right, next. Ooh, I don't want this. Okay, remember that I showed you earlier, there's a dendrovian was cascading. That is about six to eight feet tall. Okay, it's this one. Okay, we waited. And these are done by, by can, they're not chrome. So, you see here? Genetically, they like to hand drop. That's why in the picture, it has six feet. And in the summertime, you can actually literally watch them grow. They grow like an inch a day, okay? And this is just from August. So genetically, can you imagine you put it in a, as a hanging basket with a gravity? That's how they keep growing. So this is the first release. If you never had this, if you're in Florida, this is ideal for you. And if you're in Arizona or Texas, I would just grow them as a hanging basket, put it on the top of your greenhouse because the heat rises. The top of the greenhouse will be really hot, which is they love it. This is a primary hybrid, and this is cascading. Okay, so we, we still kind of spike it here, but if for myself, I would just not to spike it at all. Let it all hang down, and then see how tall they can get. Uh, the photograph is the original print from this, the owner of this, and he told me that was not the biggest one he has. He, had, he can have as long as eight to ten feet long and at the end in the springtime you get it in now right now there's two flower in the springtime for you all right and fragrance okay and this remember the cut flower that jamie used last week uh frame and pedium okay this is the uh the one that kept booming for six to eight months out of the year. Uh, the one with the use of a cut flower, they're still holding up. Uh, they keep booming. So this is the number, a Salsa Apprentice, a remake of the Salsa Apprentice. So if you never try a frame and painting before, uh, even get the, the mature size, okay, very economical to do. And this will flower, this come in March for you, when they start spiking, and they will, for all six to eight months, they just keep booming, you see, even with the side branches. One, two, three, four. They can ca carry out to 12 to 15 flower per spray. And the new remake is, is a possible polypoidy. Uh, the leaf is more compact. It's not as grassy as the original uh, Source of Apprentice, okay? And what's this? Oh, this is the one I will show you earlier. The next generation of Sherry Baby, okay? This is a hybrid from Sherry Bay Baby. Okay, so it's it's more on a brownish tall, but it's the variety is called chocolate raspberry. Yes, and it actually had that uh, uh, chocolate raspberry fragrance. So genetically, are shorter branches. 
Uh, sometimes you can even go this particular one for under light. Okay, so this is the one I have. They are all perfect stage. You can get them home and do your own um, peering or uh, branching. Okay, it would be a good name for uh, Christmas. Okay, ooh, good. Remember the Milton, uh, the fancy Milton that we said earlier, the reddish, the fragrant one? This is the intergenetic. And uh, Crystal gonna give you a, a link to the website. Uh, it's a beautiful fire engine red. Okay, we have two sizes. And uh, a, a, a still a few of the big premium size. This is the premium size. Look how beautiful, they are two spike per bolt. And they're so vigorous. They even have a new shoot ready for the springtime. Okay. Crystal, you got this? It's MC509. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's Brian's pick. Uh, the note says, uh, yeah, if you like Buffer Fighter, I, I have five left of this charming Buffer Fighter, let's see, form. Okay. And it's pure white. They're coming to spiking right now. And it falls several times a year. And two bolt per spike and it has really light fragrance too nf976 okay brian how about give me that uh, fan analysis uh, the yellow one i know it's a lot of nice stuff we happening right now okay this is the one that got best of the show in japan the grand champion and the yellow one, right? You see how nice the lip? The first open kind of uh, greenish, but the, the, look at the color of the lip. Can you close up? The lip is pure canary yellow, even the back of the flower too, okay? And very nice strong stem. This is first bloom, by the way. And can you imagine when they become bigger, when they get older? And what I like about this chrome is this is a pattern uh, variety. So, and from Japan, the leaves don't get very big. Now that's some of the big white, okay? It's very, very manageable. And the leaf is just so compact to ship. Okay, and I waited for about four years. And this is, we, we got this directly from the owner of the, the pattern owner from Japan. And this is beautiful. If you don't have a lot of uh, standard, this is probably the best standard yellow right now in the world, okay? And they only come from here. Huh. Okay, they want me to show you this again. Remember the Christmas orchid? The Star of Birmingham, the Anguictan Spetidaria. They are getting ready. I would, if you don't have Anguictan Spetidaria, uh, it's a good conversation topic. You can good for your uh, grandchildren if you have any uh, science project. Uh, they always fall for Christmas, and the, it's best to get them in this kind of stage. Okay, once they have a puffy butt, it's not easy to ship because they might bru uh, bruises. And once they open, it's even, even more difficult to ship because the flower can be have, uh, rubbing. Okay, so this is a good stage to have, and I think that forty-five dollars. This is the first will be a first bloom seeding. I, I, and this is a, a few species I always repeat. I always repeat maybe. And the last time I offered this women's size is about two years ago. So once we sold out this batch, uh, it's gonna take another uh, two to three years to come back again, all right? And, and anything else? Oh, Zyko, let's do Zyko. Oh. Okay, if you want to own, this is a beautiful Kiwi Geyser. And this is our water chrome variety jammy. <laughs> if you want to own the piece of jammy, uh, she's compact, it's fragrance, and you can grow this outdoor, no problem. Okay. Or under light. The fuel cycle painting would prefer for under light. All right. And it's MC1017. Anything else? Another carrier. Okay, another Dibiana hybrid. Uh, I will get this in right now, and this is all suitable. We can just easily twist it off. Okay, 
get this mature size right now because you save yourself at least ten dollars because they are actually selling flower bud for this coming spring and this is half dipiana with a big flower so it's those white nice one nice one uh, compact perfect for windowsill and under light and we have the Celtopanensis, I think with the beautiful Celtopanensis, uh, if you like species, uh, I think some of them will be starting to spike in right now. So look at the wonderful variegated leaf. It's a nice species to have. This is the only species of Phenonopsis that have flower that rotate 360 degree, almost like a hydrangeas. It's a nice flower head. Okay, and this is a good strain to have because I have flower one yellow form. Out of this population the seeds is original uh, sent to me from indonesia so this is the wild strand so that's why we love to have the wild strand we got a seed from our friend in indonesia and that flower one is yellow okay so don't wait on this one is not going after this podcast people find out about this they're not going to last <laughs> okay all right anything else another oh if you like miniature uh spread petal Catalia, this is a wonderful, wonderful uh, mini cat. Uh, it's posted on the voice book before. This is a blooming side, okay? And good for spring bloomer, okay? I think that they are on one of us uh, on sales too for the winter, okay? You know? Whoo, it's got a lot to print today. They are back in season again, uh, Amazonica. One, I love Amazonica because they just just not only a leaf is attractive they can rebloom several times a year you see here they have two spike they have one spike and one spike again they're always constant in flower so this is a very good size plant uh you can if you can go for an analysis you can go this species from amazon it's called uh amazonica okay and beautiful lip yeah. oh a red fan analysis and this is one of my a few orchid that I, I keep repeating. This is Sogo Rose. Okay. This is one of my uh, favorite Sogo Rose. And the one that the first time I actually used it as a gift back in uh, two, uh, 12 years ago. Look how wonderful the leaf. Okay, so this is Sogo Rose. It's very, very vigorous print. Okay. I see now. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, the two last one. Uh, all the Ancidium alliances. Oh, this is the actually have brassia in the background. So this is a very popular crown. Uh, it's a big shot. Remember, uh, Tahoma Glacier hybrid. So it's it's better better than Tahoma Glacier. So it's more compact. Have a tendency to give multiple shoot. Okay, so. If, Big flower, about five inch, white inch, uh, star shape. And this one is for, it's more for the new year, but it's Cohedo Firecracker. Uh, it's a reddish color. The spiking right now, it will be perfect for the new year. So this is a good, good stage to get it now. And you can actually have fun to try to peel off the, the, the tip that we showed you earlier, okay? and thank you very much so that's complete our session today uh i thank you for your uh continued support and the topic next week will be on the pathopedium for the winter and that will complete our uh culture talk on the five major uh, genus okay so i will see you next saturday